Less than a year after playing in its new stadium, the Southeast High School football team is homeless once again. A summer inspection showed problems with the field's turf that the district fears could lead to athlete injuries. H. Pilar Pedraza has continuing coverage now of this story live from Southeast High. Pilar. David, Deb, as you can see over here, the football team is actually practicing this afternoon on a baseball field. Meanwhile, across the street next to the high school here, the stadium is locked up. Competition forbidden this fall as the district tries to figure out exactly what happened to the turf here and get it fixed. <laughs> the Friday night lights will remain dark this fall at Wichita Southeast High Football Stadium. This hasn't been easy and, and I do uh, feel for all the students involved, especially those seniors. After the Wichita School District's annual summer inspection of the field turned up a problem with the turf. Something affected the cushioning and gripping ability of the fake grass. And the district's athletic director says that's a red light to student athletes. Falling down or risking any type of joint injury. This isn't a brand new field. Um, it still had some life left in its, uh, in its overall timeline. Um, however, just the data showed us that it needed to be replaced. Dr. Caleb Stoppel says since he wasn't here when this turf went in, he's not sure what its life expectancy was, but new turf fields today can last anywhere from 10 to 15 years. This one, though, he says they had to shut down after just six years. We are continuing to take safety as our number one concern. That means no home games this year for the Southeast High Golden Buffalo. Instead, they'll play all their games at other district stadiums. The resulting scheduling crunch even moved a couple of those games to Thursday. Meanwhile, the Southeast soccer team is taking a bus over to Stryker Sports Complex for its practices this fall, more often used for college level tournaments. They have the best of the best turf um, out there. And while the district is working to figure out exactly what caused this damage and getting bids to replace the turf, the band and the PE classes here at the high school can still continue to use the stadium. The district says they just aren't as rough on that turf. Live from Southeast High School, Pilar Pedraza, Cake News on your side.